Hello folks, One UI 5.1 is an iterative update after One UI 5.0, but even so, the latest version of the company's skin packs some important usability changes and improvements, both aesthetically and in terms of functionality. Samsung hasn't outlined which device will move from One UI 5.0 to One UI 5.1. Instead, the company appears to be rolling out the updates in ad hoc manner. One UI 5.1 remains based on Android 13, so doesn't count towards Samsung's four major OS updates commitments for modern Galaxy smartphones. Guys, I'd like to know that I released a Galaxy S23 Ultra review after a month of use, where I analyzed in detail everything you need to know about this smartphone, advantages and disadvantages, everything about battery life, camera, performance and many many more. Check out the link in the description. Here are the most notable features you can expect to see with One UI 5.1. Let's go! First of all, animation, animation and again animation. Yes, Samsung finally smoothing out animations. One UI 5.1 renders animations much more neatly. It's not just faster, it's juicier and much more realistic, like it has more FPS or something. But it feels the animation was improved significantly. This is especially noticeable with rotating animation. Just look at that, without delay and very beautiful. Even the Twitter app feels smooth and responsive now on One UI 5.1. The future-rich Samsung Gallery app gets even better with One UI 5.1 with new features and usability enhancements. Viewing the EXIF data of photo or video is easier than before, as a simple swipe up on the media reveals all the details. Previously, you had to tap the file name that appeared after swiping up to view the EXIF data. Samsung's remaster feature now supports GIF files too, so you can upscale your low-resolution GIFs. Just open any GIF in the Samsung Gallery app, tap the remaster button available inside the hamburger menu and let AI do the rest of the work. The improved remaster feature also automatically removes unwanted shadows and light reflections like on glass windows. Another improvement in the gallery app is the ability to search for multiple objects of people by tapping their faces. Go to the gallery search and here the first row are the faces of the people recognized by the phone. You can select someone and then modify the search criteria to your liking. Extract text feature debuted with the One UI 5.0, letting you select and copy text content from images or directly from the camera viewfinder is taking a step ahead. Taking a cure from iOS 16, Samsung also added object recognition and separation capabilities to its gallery app. Long press on an object or person in a photo. If the object or person is recognized, the image can be shared on a transparent background, copied to the clipboard and pasted into other apps. You can also save the image to your device. However, it appears that this feature is exclusive to the S23 series only. All the smartphones that receive this update do not have this feature. But there is a possibility that Samsung will release this new feature for these Galaxy devices with future updates. As of now, there is no official information related to it, and this we can just wait. By default, Samsung saves screenshots inside the DCIM screenshots folder in One UI 5. In One UI 5.1, you can change this location to any folder. All you need to do is to go into the settings, advanced features, screen recorder menu, then tap the save screenshot tool. You will then be able to choose a folder on the internal storage. You can also create new folders using the plus button at the top of the screen. Samsung's excellent expert row app has been available as a separate download from the Galaxy Store. That's changing with One UI 5.1, as the app has been integrated with a built-in camera app. You'll find a dedicated expert remote under the More tab in the Galaxy S23's camera app. This integration is still a shortcut, as when you first tap expert row inside the camera app, it downloads the app in the background. Another weird limitation is that you cannot move the expert row app to the mod switcher tab at the bottom for quick access. Meanwhile, the One UI 5.1 makes it quite easier to change the color tone of your selfie picture from the effects menu at the top of the screen. Samsung's battery widget introduces two choices for Galaxy consumers including the circular and square box styles. Both of the choices let you display the battery status of up to 8 devices including the smartphone itself. By default, the widget expands for 4 devices, which can be further enlarged for 8. It can display the remaining juice of the phone, S Pen and other accessories connected like the Galaxy Buds 2 and Samsung Galaxy Watch 5. Also, you'll find a new dynamic weather widget for the home screen. In short, the new dynamic 
whether we're just supposed two sizes and comes with new animations, but it's worth noting that only the larger size with a vertical footprint supports the full set of animations. These animations include a person that walks into the frame dressed for the occasion, matching the weather outside. If it's sunny, the widget shows a stylized drawing of a person holding a water bottle. If it's snowing, it's a person wearing a scarf. These animations last for roughly 4 seconds and they don't loop, but they can be triggered again. However, the dynamic weather widget in One UI 5.1 doesn't show the animated person in every weather. Recently, Samsung brought new multitasking gestures to Galaxy phones through the One UI 5.0 update. Before One UI 5.1, someone in the list of split-screen apps with a dedicated two-finger gesture revealed a list of recent apps, followed by a full list of apps that offer multi-window compatibility. Now, through One UI 5.1, Samsung added a new section containing your most used apps, just below the recent apps category. Also, users can now drag a pop-up Windows frame outward toward the edge or corner of the screen screen to switch back to full screen. Up to now, users can only swipe inward from the corner of an app to activate pop-up view. But to switch back to full screen, they had to tap the top bar handle to access a small menu and select the full screen option. This refinement makes switching back and forth between full screen and pop-up view a lot more convenient. Samsung renamed Bixby routines to Mountain routines in One UI 5. With the new version of its Android skin, the company is further improving the feature by adding new actions and triggers. You can assign different wallpapers for different modes, so your work mode can have a different wallpaper than your sleep mode. Support for new actions includes controlling quick share, changing the ringtone, and adjusting the touch sensitivity. Actions can also be triggered when you turn on airplane mode, toggle a mobile hotspot, and more. Guys, perhaps these are the main improvements that came to Samsung smartphones with One UI 5.1. Improvements to Dex mode are also noteworthy, as a more user-friendly window resizing feature has been added. If you have a Samsung laptop, you can now use your mouse, keyboard or trackpad not only with your Galaxy tablet, but also with your Galaxy smartphone. Well, a few more tweaks here and there. Let me know in the comments whether you have updated or not. If so, which feature did you like the most? Thank you for watching this video, please share it with your friends. See you in the next one. Good luck to all!